Hey guys, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Today I'm doing a dish inspired by my beautiful wife, Mandy Brooks. This is Mandy's Mahi. We're doing a nice Mahi Mahi and we're gonna make a black bean and corn salsa to go with it. Real rustic, kind of the way she did it for dinner. It's gonna be a great little dish. Come on guys, let's get in the kitchen and get started. This is cooking today. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being with us today. Man, it is a great day. We are doing a great little dish. This dish is inspired by my beautiful wife. This is Mandy's Mahi. We're gonna do a really cool black bean and corn salsa to go with it that she did. Man, so what a cool little dish. I'm gonna play with it a little bit because that's just kind of what I do. So we're gonna jump right in and I have just some mahi fillets that are cut up into about eight ounce portions, seven to eight ounce portions. And the mahi is a real good, really good fish. It's a common dolphin fish, so a short build spear fish basically. Um, they are great, really good, I mean, good looking fillets. And the cool thing about this fish is once you cook it, it is just that beautiful white that you that ivory white color that you end up with so what a really really good fish to use very mild and i think it'll go good with this salsa so we're just going to sit those aside for just a second and i'm going to grab a small just a small little dish here because the first thing we're going to do is make a nice little seasoning to go on our our fish and we're gonna use two tablespoons of paprika, okay? We're gonna use two tablespoons of chili powder. We want just a little spice look to it, not, not heat out of it, but just some good spice, just a real good look. It'll give it a good, good texture, good color. About two tablespoons of cumin, okay? And then simply season it with salt and pepper. And we're going to bring the fillets over here in just a second. We're going to season those guys too. Just hit it up with some salt and pepper. And just mix that up real good. Okay? And you can break up all the little, the, you know, the cumin gets a little clumpy. So you just want to make sure you break it up real good. Okay, just like that. And then we'll bring our fish in. And just what we'll do simply is just season them out with salt and pepper. Just kind of spread them out so we can season it all. We really want our fish to have some good flavor. Okay, so black pepper, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and get our skillet back on the fire, get, get it started. Okay, I'm going to flip these guys over, just like that. Grab my towel. Okay. Then I'm just going to hit them, salt and pepper on the other side, just like that. And just, man, just a light dusting of that rub that we made. You really want to let this sit for a little while. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and just get it going just to save us some time. But try real hard to let your, your spice, your dry rub, sit at least, a, you know, a few hours. Overnight is great with this. You can do it a day ahead, and it works out really good. But we just want to rub all over that fish. Just make it look like that. Just a nice little, little rub on there. Okay? That looks great. And my oil is smoking. And so before I 
before I put one in, I'm going to make sure I have a pair of tongs sitting on the deck. And we're using a cast iron skillet, okay? And we want that baby good and hot. We're going to get a good sear going right away. That's going to give us a good crust. That fish is going to be very good. Okay. We'll try not to crowd them. I think that's probably all we can get into that pan for now. And so I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to stand right here with it. And a little bit of smoke is good, and you can turn it down just a little bit to keep some of that smoke down. I mean, the corn oil has a, has a really high smoke point at it, so we know that it's good and hot right here. But what we're looking for out of this is a really good crust. And, and I'm going to, for time's sake, I'm going to sear these off and put them in the oven so that they'll finish for me without me having to do anything, and I can keep going with the rest of the dish. But man, such a good crust. Look at that blackening on there. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That is bark. That is the kind of bark you get from a grill. Look at that. But it's just a matter of those spices that we use to give it that bark. And now I have the oven and I'm going to fire it up to 400 and it's been on so we should have some good heat going on there. And we'll, as soon as we get a little bark on this side, just, you know, a minute or two, we're going to take this whole entire skillet and I'm going to put it right in the center section of that oven and we're going to let that guy go for just about seven, eight minutes while we make some other stuff, you guys, when we come back. We're gonna get our corn and black bean salsa made. You gotta stick around. We're doing Mandy's Mahi. This is cooking today. Okay guys, welcome back. Man, the fish is going in the oven. Just, you know, about eight minutes is all we really need. So we're gonna make sure that we work quickly here. And what we're gonna do with this, we have just a red bell pepper. And I'm gonna take a quarter of it for now and just dice it up. We need it for the salsa, for sure. So we are just making a nice bridge. Just getting a good dice going on this. Okay, and we're gonna use just that much of it. We're gonna get it right into this large bowl. Okay, we're gonna take a third of this green bell pepper. And you see how I just cut that, the whole bulb off of it and just get it the same thing just go across and julienne first we'll come right back and give it a real good dice and these aren't the jalapenos this is just the bell pepper so we can give this a little bit larger dice just for some texture now when we get down this jalapeno which we're going to do right now i'm going to get it a little bit finer because I don't want anybody to get, you know, a nice big bite of that. So I like to really just lay it out flat and get rid of that seed pod just by cutting along the edge, just like that. And a few of the seeds are okay, but we don't want all of them in there. That's where the heat is. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that little bit on the end. And just half of this, and I'm gonna be a little bit more just precise with this because I want it so so small. And this is one of those things too, man. You have to be real careful. You know, I've I've done it all to try and avoid getting you know the jalapenos in my eye. The juice will just fly up and hit you in the face. If you have a little bitty cut on your hand or something, boy, that stings so bad. And the jalapenos are great flavor, really good for spice, natural heat. You see how just, I mean, I got that really, really cut up real fine, okay, right into that bowl, just like that, okay. Then I'm going to take some cilantro, 
Okay, and I'm going to take some of the leaves right off the top. And the reason why I love this dish so much the way my wife did it, because she made it very rustic. Okay, and I, by that I mean she did not chop up the cilantro at all. So we're doing that exact same thing. Just take the leaves and just break them up over the bowl. Mm. I love it. I love that flavor, that smell. Cilantro is one of my favorites. I love me some coriander. And in this, this state, so good. Just like that. Super simple. And my wife said rustic, and I love that name. Okay, and we'll get just these leaves and that little bit of seeds up off the deck and add them right to there. Now, we also have black beans, and I'm just using the canned variety here. So we want to make sure that we get these open because we want to drain them real, real good. So I'm going to run back here to the sink as soon as I grab this guy. We'll get that black beans into that colander and I want to give these a nice rinse okay cold water just rinse them off real real good get rid of some of that that sludgy thick liquid that's in there we want them rinsed real real good as soon as we drain them we're gonna go right to the bowl with it just like that so one can we also, we're going to do the same thing with just some canned corn. If you want to use fresh, it's okay. I suggest that you cook it a little bit to soften it up because we're not doing anything to this. We're just going to take the can to the sink, drain the liquid, okay? Just make sure that we drain all of that juice right out of there, much of it as we can. And we're going to go, again, right to our bowl. And now last, we're going to take one can of just Rotel. This is Rotel with diced, tom just ty diced tomatoes with green chilies. Really going to give you some good spice. Whole lot of love to add to the salsa. So good. And with this, what we're going to do just add it right in. All the liquid goes in right from the Rotel. Okay, that is great. You guys, when we come back, we're going to add a couple of other ingredients right into the salsa. We'll get the fish out of the oven and show you what this dish turns out like. It's going to be so good. My beautiful wife, Mandy, I love you so much. Man, this is cooking today. Y'all stick around. Coming up next, we'll bring it all together and show you how to use avocados as a great garnish. Okay guys, welcome back. Man, we're gonna finish up the dish here and I'm gonna just take some green onions. Cause I need a little bit for garnish for the plate at the end. Okay, so we'll just take the bottoms right off of those and we're gonna add some to the salsa. So we're gonna leave these just fluted, just on a bias cut, just like that. And I wanna add this closer to the top end of the onion right into the salsa. Okay, just to combine those flavors. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna continue with that little bitty bias cut, but I'm gonna get these a little bit thinner so that we have a good garnish for the plate at the end. So just a nice little, nice little fluted pieces for that. Little rings, just hang on to those. We're gonna keep them right in this little, little dish right there. Save those aside, okay? And our salsa looks great. We need to add the juice of half a lime right just to give it some good brightness wake it up just a little bit i'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt okay 
And then we're going to add just a, just a shake or two of cumin, maybe half a teaspoon, just to flavor it up just a little bit, okay? And just take our spoon and combine all those ingredients together. Look at how colorful it is. So nice. The big leaves of cilantro really look nice in there. Really rustic. Just going to add some good flavor to the dish. Okay, just mix those flavors up real good. You want to make sure the rotel is just mixed in throughout. Okay, that looks great. Look at the color on that. Okay, now the fish is done. The timer in my head is going off. And our time is up on the fish, so we're going to grab a dry towel. Show you what this mahi looks like. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. And so we got a good, good blackening on that. And just finish them in the oven. We're trying not to overcook the fish. It's going to turn out great. We're going to grab us a plate here. Now what I like to do, first of all, is take some of this salsa and I'm going to park it on the plate, right in the middle. Just put enough down to hold the fish, okay, because we'll put a little bit more on top. And it's so good that it won't matter that it's, you have it twice, okay, will not matter a bit. Then we'll take the nicest filet we got there. Just kind of let some of the oil drip off of it. And I like to put it right in the middle of that salsa. Just like that. Okay. Then I'll take a little bit extra of that and spoon it right on the top. But I'm not done yet. You may think I'm done but I'm not done, okay? I'm gonna set this aside right here, and then I'm gonna just move this plate down just for a little bit, because we're gonna add one last thing. I'm gonna take this avocado, just a little small guy, little bit on the ripe side, okay? Just get that pit out of there. And this one just fell right out. And if whatever you, whatever you wanna do, okay? But I'll take and just cut it, right inside the peel. Okay, and then go across. Because once you get ready to spoon that out, okay, and we'll use the same spoon we had just a second ago, same one. We've got some cool little cubes of avocado. Man, look at that. Great little, just nice little creaminess to add to it. We'll take that avocado. We'll add it right to the top as well, just like that. If you want to do slices, you go right ahead. Totally up to you. But I definitely like having that creaminess on the top. Just clean my hands. Okay, then we will take that green onion that we had left over. And I just like to put a little around the edge of the plate. Just be playful. Man, what a great dish. I had it for dinner. She made it for dinner. And I just could not resist showing it to you guys. Mandy's Mahi with black bean and corn salsa. That is a dish made with love. This is cooking today. Mm -mm -mm.
Man, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, honey, for such a great dish. Turned out really good. Mandy's Mahi with black bean and corn salsa. Just a great little dish, nice and rustic. Nice big cilantro leaves, just really a good colorful dish. Guys, join us again next time. We're gonna have a great recipe to show you, some cool cooking tips as well. I'm Stephen Brooks and that's Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by Tyson Foods, proud makers of Tyson fresh and frozen chicken products and toned seasonings. We make the meal. Grill provided by Sam's Club. Life is better in the club. Appliances provided by Metro Appliances and more. Cookware and serveware provided by World Kitchen and NWA Restaurant Supply. Food provided by Tankersley Food Service. Produce provided by Kimball and Thompson Produce Company.